Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to be doing a mixed media art journal page tutorial and I'm going to be walking you through how I created this yellow themed page in my art journal and this video is part of the Take 5 collaboration for the month of March and if you've watched any of my mixed media videos before you may have heard me talk about the Take 5 uh, prompt list and what it is uh, basically is every month a group of uh, mixed media YouTubers get together and they pick five prompts and each one of them does a video creating a page or a layout or an illustration using those five prompts. So it's very interesting to see, um, I think it's 12 people that are, that are in the group, 12 people interpret the same prompts and uh, they've invited me to be a part of the group so that's very exciting and I'm really happy to be a part of the group and I'll leave a list of all the ladies that are part of the Mixed Media Take 5 uh, collaboration in the, the description box below because if you like mixed media videos, you like you know art journal page uh, videos, those sorts of things, then I may find s some channels in the description box some some of the ladies in the collaboration you might like their channels in other words so um, feel free to browse through their videos if you'd like to uh, discover some more channels and see how they interpreted uh, the prompts so the five prompts for the month of March the ones that I've used today are use washi tape add texture paste yellow use at least two stamps and add splatters and you guys are welcome to follow along as well at home and use these prompts to kickstart some creativity in your own journals or illustrations or whatever and I'll, I've, I'll write down the prompt list in the description box below if you want to uh, make a note of what the prompts are. They're just a fun way of kickstarting some ideas in your journals basically. So the first thing that I did for my journal was I prepped the page using some gesso and I did that because I'm going to be using some ink sprays and I also put a piece of masking tape down uh, in between the two pages so that the ink spray doesn't seep through. And then I went ahead and I used uh, two stamps two background stamps to create the background and then I used and um, those I stamped with waterproof brown inks then I used a circle stencil and some texture paste to create a few rising bubbles through the page and then I went and I sprayed it with some yellow just um, dilutions ink. I was really excited when I saw that the one of the prompts for this month was yellow. I love using yellow but I think it's one of it's a colour that I don't see a lot of people using. I think it can be quite a difficult colour to use. So I really wanted to really make this page all about yellow and to see how I could balance it out. And it was a really fun, really fun colour to use. I really enjoyed using it. So now I'm picking out the focal elements that I want for this page. And on the day that I filmed this, I actually didn't have a lot of time to sit down and colour lots of embellishments and I just didn't have a lot, time to, a lot of time to work on the page uh, as it was. Sometimes art journal pages can take me three hours to complete and I didn't have that much time. So I used these pre-coloured embellishment sheets. Um, uh, on my shop they're called uh, printable sticker sheets but honestly they can be used for whatever. You print them out onto whatever paper you want. And I created these products because I thought that if you don't really like colouring or you don't have a lot of time to colour or you don't have all the supplies to get these, the, these blended bold colouring then these pr printable pre-coloured embellishment sheets might be really useful and they're a big time saver. I found that I this page took me 40 minutes to make instead of three hours which it would have done if I had had to colour all those different embellishments so I found that I'm be, I've been using the pre-coloured sheets quite a bit recently just because they're such a big time saver and it's really nice sometimes to just uh, have stuff pre-coloured and you can just print them out and cut them up so that was fun and now I've uh, I've added a couple of extra things to the, pa the background I went in and used the yellow distress oxide ink um, squeezed lemonade and I just sort of stamped it out using one of my sponge spl uh, sponge one of my sponge blenders and then I went in with some green distress oxide ink I think it was bundled sage and I just went around the outside because I felt like I needed to balance out the yellow a bit I had the brown and that was working really well but I felt like I wanted another muted color I almost went for gray I think gray would have looked very good or a muted purple but I went for the uh, green in the end and I just used that around the outside to create a bit of a border and I really love how this background turned out. It's actually very simple to create. It only takes, uh, as I said, this whole page took me 40 minutes so it, it didn't take very long 
and I re just really like how it worked out and sometimes it's nice to, to, to make a page where it doesn't take so long. Often I get into a, a pattern of layering and layering and doing a lot of work on an art journal page and that's, that's fun and I do enjoy do doing it but sometimes it's nice to remember that it doesn't have to be so complicated. It can be quite simple and still look nice. Now I'm just gluing down the two flowers and the three leaves that I've chosen and again you can see the cluster is an odd number and that's one of the things that I try to go for when I'm clustering embellishments or focal points I try to go for odd numbers and I'm going ahead and I'm adding some splatters and little dots and with some uh, Posca paint pens I've got a couple of yellow ones here I also use a white a bit later on and I have added a color into this page the purple which is not in the background the, the yellow and the green are in the background colors and you may be thinking that the purple is quite an odd color to add um, but I did I really I had to add another color and I felt like the, the muted purple went actually well and it also helps to draw your eye straight into the focal point because it, it stands out so much from the background and I think that worked really well and the last prompt that I added in was using the washi tape and the washi tape, I didn't have any yellow, I didn't have any brown, I didn't have any green washi tape, so I used a tiny little strip of transparent tape that has some little tiny pink hearts on it, and then I went over the tape with some green ink and just sort of glazed over it just to tone it down and to make it fit into the background, and I think that worked quite well. So that's quite a good tip that if you have a, a tape or uh, an embellishment or something you want to add to the page, but it doesn't fit in with your colour scheme, you can kind of glaze over it with a bit of ink if you have it, distress ink or distress oxide ink or even a very small bit of a little bit of paint and just glaze over it so that um, you just sort of help it to fit into the background w without completely covering it so that worked quite well and here's the end result I added some little liquid pearl uh, paint dots to the background and that's my take five p uh, page for the month of March I really hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comments below and um, I will see you guys uh, next time